Look at this awesome Shadow of War Bright Lord armor set with weapons and a cloak as well. I will show you how to get it in this video. It's not that hard and you can do it pretty early on in the game. And I will also take a look at the stats of this set. So if you like that then the like would be super appreciated and let's go. The full Bright Lord set has an item for every equipment slot including a set bonus for wearing 4 of the items just like any other item set in Shadow of War. This one focuses on freezing and also on wrath and that's of course not really weird looking at the name of this set. The first set bonus focuses on getting Wrath faster to unleash the super powerful Elven Rage. The Elven Rage duration is decreased by 50% though. On the other hand, it was normally a little bit too long in my opinion, so to have it be shorter is not really a big deal. If you got 4 items of the Bright Lord armor set, and I will tell you of course how to get them, then you can replenish all your Elven shots when killing an enemy during Elven Rage. So, Elven Rage you of course easily kill all the targets, so then you get all your Elven shots back, and that's really nice if there is no elven shot nearby. Before I tell you how to get this set, I will first want to take a look at all the armor and weapon specific perks. For the Bright Lord Sword you got the Gain 16 Wrath after performing an Ice Storm finisher. Ice Storm of course being the skill where you freeze targets and then rapidly repeat an attack to break it and then you can even follow up with a sort of execution on the ground. While doing that you of course also build up might and if you then do execution with that might you get a 33 health back so that's also great. So this sword is really good against one strong target where you can just focus on that guy, have him frozen, do an execution. It's just a really great sword. Looking at the dagger, it really focuses on freezing your targets, letting your quick throw apply frost. It's certainly not possible to then follow up with a stealth attack because if you do stealth kills with this dagger on frozen enemies, you get 25 wrath back. The Bright Lord's bow got some really nice perks like the fact that you can freeze enemies and nearby enemies when hitting a charged hand. Headshot. This in combination with your sword is of course extremely good getting wrath after performing an Ice Storm Vinisher. You can also get focus recovery per ranged attack hit with the Bright Lord's bow, so you can just keep on shooting in slow motion until your arrows are gone. Nice as well. Moving over to the Bright Lord's armor, if you equip this you get 2 wrath when getting hit, so that's of course nice. Just let the hits come in and then counter your enemies with Elven Rage. Of course just when fighting enemies it's really nice to build up wrath that way. There's also a 31% reduction from ranged attacks, also great of course when taking over forts or fighting strong ranged characters. Going back to the freezing, this also gives you wrath with the cloak equipped it, so killing frozen enemies lets your bar fill faster. Also 11 focus recovery per kill, so shooting with your bow already gets focus recovered. So killing people with your Bright Lord's bow gives you an even better increase to the slow motion that you can just hit enemies, kill them and just stay in slow motion all the time. Really cool right? So how do you get these amazing pieces of the Bright Lord sets? Well you can get them pretty early on, as soon as you get access to all the 5 regions in the game. You probably already encountered them when playing a filled fragments on the wall that you can collect by going into the ref fission and turning your analog sticks around to make the letters appear. There are six filled in fragments hidden in all the five regions, collecting them all will get you one step closer to the full Bright Lord set. So luckily it's not a trial and error, by going to a heedier spot on the map you can find all the filled in fragments in every region. I personally used a drake to travel around the map so I can easily jump on all the towers to start looking for the icons on the map, but of course a Karagor can also do the job if you don't have this summon drake skill yet. Got all the Avildan fragments in one region, then you can head over to the Barrow from that specific region and that location can also be found with the help of the Hadir. Then it can be tricky to find it, to find the entrance, but they're normally like inside a tunnel, under the ground or inside a building or mountain, so be on the lookout for that. Every Barrow has an Avildan door that you have to open with all the poems or all the fragments that you collected. Before I run down all the combination, it's interesting to note that you get the armor set or weapons based on the level that you are at that point. I was level 39 so I got the armor and weapons at level 39. If you wait you probably get them at a higher level so that's just a quick tip if you want to get them like at the max level or later on. On the other hand it's of course really great to have them early on as well to kill enemies faster and stuff like that. It's totally up to you but just so you know. So let's run down all the combination for every region of Vilden door starting with the Minas Morgul door where you get the Bright Lord's armor. So in the poem you first select shadows, then drums, then 
Cadence, then Land, then Wrath, and then Doom. And I will just uh, leave it on a little bit. Of course, pause the video to uh, fully check it out. Then let's move over to Zerit, Ungol, When the Sun Rises. So first Rises, then Fires, then Night, Beacons, Shines, and Marching. You get the Bright Lord's Cloak for this one. Going on to Gor Gorot, Lurk first, then Bulwark, then Impervious, then Powers, then Vicious, and then Fail. And you get the Bright Lord Sword for completing this door. If you got all the Evilden Fragments in Nurnen and go to the Evilden Door, you first select Iron, then Serpents, then Veil, then Woo, Hordus, and then Claim. And I hope I pronounce that Woo correct, but you see it on the screen here. If you complete this one, you get the Bright Lord's Bow. Okay, last but not least is Zergast Evildin's door. So let's move over to that one. We first got a Slumbers, then Nest, then a Poisoned, then a Trapped, then Comes, and last but not least is a Base. This will get you the Bright Lord's Dagger. There you go, now you got all the Bright Lord items. Oh, yes, I'm missing the ring. Well, you get that by doing something completely different, namely the Shadows of the Past missions. You have to at least get a bronze in all the challenges to get access to the ring. So, good luck with that. Let me know what you think of the Bright Lord items in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more Shadow of War content. I got a ton of stuff coming and already up on the channel. Like by far the best way to level up in the game and a breakdown of all the tribes and their armor set bonuses. So you can see, oh I want to kill this tribe or I want to recruit them for their perks. Like this video to support the channel. I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good one.